Now, consider the test scenario, check login functionality. There are many possible variations to test this functionality, like, check response on entering, valid agent name and password. Check response on entering, invalid agent name and password. Check response, when agent name is empty, and login button is pressed, and many more. This is nothing but, test case. Test scenarios are rather vague, and cover a wide range of possibilities. Testing is all about being very specific. Hence we need test cases. Now consider just this test case, check response on entering, valid agent name and password. It's obvious that this test case needs input values, namely agent name and password. This is nothing but test data. Identifying test data can be time-consuming and may sometimes require creating the data. The reason it needs to be documented. Before we proceed ahead, consider a quote from a witty man who said, to ensure perfect aim, shoot first and call whatever you hit, the target. But if you do not live by this philosophy, which I am sure most of you do not, then your test case must have an expected result, which in our case would be, login should be successful. If expected results are not documented, we may miss out on small differences in calculations, in results which otherwise look OK. Consider this example where you are calculating monthly pay for an employee which involves lots of calculations, the need for documenting expected results becomes obvious. Suppose the author of the test case has left the organization, is on a vacation, is sick and off duty, or is very busy with other critical tasks, and you are recently hired and have been asked to execute the test case. Since you are new, it would certainly help to have test step documented, which in this case would be Launch application, enter agent name, enter password, click OK. You may wonder that for this simple test step, documentation is not required, but what is your test step looked something like this. I think the need becomes instantaneously obvious. Also, your test case may have field like precondition, which specifies things that must be in place before the test can run. For our test case, a precondition would be flight reservation application should be installed. Your test case may also include post conditions, which specifies anything that applies after the test case completes. For our test case, a post condition would be time and date of login is stored in the database. During test case execution, you will document the results observed in the actual results column and may even attach some screenshots, and based on the results get pass and fail status. This entire table may be created in Word, Excel or any other test management tool. That is all to test case design. If you are watching this video on our website guru99.com, you can download a sample test case specification template right below the video.